guys. Well, hello. Hope you're having a good day in recovery today. And I just thought I would come up here this morning, come down here at the Volunteer Comprehensive Treatment Center and just uh, share with you our recovery board that we came up with from our, uh, from our activity medication class this morning. So um, first thing I wanna do is say it is day 46 and the title of our meditation is Continue to Grow. So I'll read the meditation and I'll just tell you a little more about what, we, what happened in our class today. Okay, so the title of the meditation is Continue to Grow. And this is from Volume 1, journal volume, Recovery Journal Volume 1. My direction depends a great deal on words that have been said, being said again with fresh insight by another who has not yet said them to me. Adding people to my life is like opening a window to let a blowing breeze rush through. When your circle doesn't grow, neither do you. Okay, and then there, you can see that. Okay, and again, guys, I, I don't have my equipment for my, um, here. There, I'm gonna get my thumb out of the way. I didn't bring my stuff to hold it up, but there you can see that, and you can read that. Okay, so that's it, continue to grow. And we just started off class by talking about the word, a few words that had popped out, which was, we talked about direction, thinking of that word from a lot of different ways um, pertaining to recovery. So we talked about the dictionary says direction is a course along which something moves, right? It is the management or guidance of someone or something. And we said it's a definite route somewhere. Um, some people said it's the way that you grow. Uh, and then the important thing that we wanted to talk about or that we did talk about was, you know, there's direction that's forced like from a facility or from some place, or uh, there's direction that's not forced. That's the one that we're seeking that, we're asking. And that's the one in recovery that is a jewel to us because it opens doors, it opens our minds, it opens our heart for that breath of fresh air to come in that that meditation is talking about. So that's the beneficial, unforced direction because that's a definite route somewhere. If you don't know how to get somewhere, we stop, we ask directions, or we keep getting lost, right? So when you're going through something, to find somebody and say, hey, you know, how did you do this, or how can I get there? Then they can, they can breathe that life, that fresh air into you. And it's important because sometimes, you know, the meditation's talking about words, you know, the meditations are like puzzles. So it's talking about other people saying words that have already been said. Because sometimes your brother, your mother, your sister, the police, <laughs> the judge, somebody, your pastor, whatever, these people could constantly be telling you the same exact thing. And then one day somebody says it and you hear it. And a lot of times if you're looking for direction, your ears open to hear something and a new way to do something that somebody may have told you a million times. But the point is that it's not forced. That is showing a change in you to be um, proactive for yourself and seeking that direction. Okay, then we talked about words. Because, like, what are words, right? So the dictionary says it's a it's speech sound, you know, uh, a series of sounds that uh, make symbols and, and uh, communication, right? So that's important to us because, you know, the words that are in our heart, you know, we're forming them, words from our heart and from the essence of who we are and communicating them, you know, through our voice box, through our mental health to other people. And, and um, like we said, it's necessary for growth, you know, to hear words, positive words, just like negative words can have a negative impact and can lead us down the road of destruction, you know, especially if we keep putting ourselves around people, places, and things that are negative or contributing to our destruction, there are words and sounds that cripple us and make us, and keep us stuck. But if we put ourselves around people who are <laughs> expressing words, communicating to us better things, then our road gets better. But not without effort, which brings us to ways to grow. 
So the question that we got from class today, which is our little jewel, was can I take direction? And I gotta be open to it. Because somebody might give you direction and you might be like, hell, I ain't doing that. Well, if you want to move from the spot you're in, and you want you gotta do something different. And sometimes it may be uncomfortable, but nobody ever said, you know, change was gonna be comfortable. But it can be it can lead to ways to grow. So we started this little dot here in the center here. I haven't put my marker away, but we started this little dot and we made this list of ways that we can help, that, that we can grow. So ways that we grow, class said, we talk to someone, doing something with someone. You might come up with a couple other things that aren't on here, um, taking action, being positive, staying positive, this helps that circle to grow, okay? Setting aside bad attitudes, cause if you have a bad attitude, your circle will shrink, right? Um, being helpful, uh, that helps our circle to grow. Asking for help, that's a two-way street, you can be helpful, but also asking for help, that will make your circle grow. And that's not just one time, you know, it's like you're that same ways to grow. So don't ever think, okay, well, I'm grown enough. No, always we can be teachable, okay? Being friendly, this can help your circle grow because if you're rude, your circle is not gonna grow, it's gonna shrink, okay? Uh, being generous, kind, uh, appreciating someone else's work, that definitely can help. Um, uh, your circle grow by letting other things in to uh, to just appreciate whether it's artwork or someone else's uh, something creative that someone else has done. All right, class said being part of a positive group this can help because being part of a negative group or hanging out with people, places, or things that are destructive again your circle will shrink. Um, or maybe you'll be popular within that group of, of negative things uh, but you might not be alive inside uh, so also ways to grow our circle is stop separating ourselves stop complaining uh, stop looking for differences well you are have this or you have that and I don't have this or I don't have that so now my circle grows smaller circle grows bigger by saying hey what do we have in common what are what some ways we think alike and then Taking part in social activities. That is a way where our circle can grow. And when we do that, this last one was don't criticize others. Cause criticizing others goes along with um, not complaining, you know, cause when you're picking other people apart or whatever, even if something's true, it doesn't matter. It doesn't get us anywhere. So it's better to look for something good in someone as soon as you find yourself criticizing someone, saying, oh, I don't like this, find something that you do like. Maybe it's just their hair, or maybe it's just their shirt or something, but to get us out of that space, don't need to be there. So that's ways to continue to grow in recovery or in your life. And that's what we want to share with you that came from our class today. And uh, yes, one of our people, Paige, what did she do? She where did she put that? Okay, these are a couple of the things that came from today, which I'll show you. And this is here, if you can see. This way works, that way don't. Hopefully I'm holding that up. You got a crookedy road, and I don't have my glasses on. Wait a minute, let me see what that says. All right, let me hold that up. It says... The road gets rough, but we can hold on and ask directions. There you go. And then, no, that's not it. Those pages. Oops, hold on, guys. That's not it. What did I do with her paper? Just gotta 
page says, live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. Life might be negative in so many ways, but focus on the positive and you will grow. That's Paige's words of wisdom today. So, all right, that's it, guys. Have a good day in recovery. I'm about ready to get out of here, and I'm going to take a couple pictures of this and put it up on the website. But I hope you have a good day doing the things that you're doing in your life today. And find ways to grow. And ask yourself that question that came from class today, which was, can I take direction today? And, and in order to take direction, you gotta be open. You gotta be open to it. So, all right. Bye. Have a good day. I'll find the button here. Here, I'll um, I'll walk you over there so you can see that board a little bit closer without getting you all over the place. Oh, see that circle? That's you, right? There. And when you let other people into your life, it just keeps growing. It's never ending. So, class says, can I take direction today? There you go. All right, guys. Have a good day. I will, too. Bye.